Thank you for being with us today. My name is Joyce Gibb. Today I have a topic about fats and the topic is fats, are they friend or foe? And in 1960, there were in the United States, one in seven Americans were obese. And obesity is considered, you know, a body, a BMI of 30, you know, percent or above. And um, as of 2015, one in three Americans is obese, and they have estimated that by 2050, one in two Americans will be obese. So what does that come from? Basically, it comes from the SAD diet, standard American diet. And, um, you know, back in the 60s, this all started with a, um, a Dr. Keyes that actually felt that, and he was really adamant that fat fat causes heart disease, and that's been proven false. But we have adopted the standard American diet, which is a many grains, six to 11 servings a day, and low amounts of good fat. So what can we do about this? Um, what happened? It was the ripple effect, it's called. Um, the medical community followed Dr. Keyes' faulty findings, findings, and that has been researched and evaluated and shown that, you know, the research was not a good study. The food companies, they adopted and followed the medical advice, which was low fat diet and higher carbs. So what happened from there? The other ripple effect is foods became less nutritious. We had more grains um, and we had minimal fats because fat was supposed to cause heart disease. Um, and also at that time, they had a lot of preservatives that were added to the food. And the, the preservatives, the main one you see it at almost every boxed food is high fructose corn syrup that comes in many forms. And so that's a sugar. It's made from corn syrup, and it, it's like so many times more potent than actually you know, sugar is. So, but that's used as a preservative. And so then at that time, everybody was instructed to eat cereal in the morning. So we have a cereal-laden population now. Everybody eats cereal. Um, eating daily recommended amounts of carbs was actually made our whole country obese. And, you know, by 2050, they really feel like that chronic disease, and it starts with the root of the cause is inflammation, is going to bankrupt the Medicare system because there's not going to be enough money to pay for physicians that are trained in acute care and not chronic disease. So, you know, that's one of the things that I love about functional medicine because I practice getting to the root of that of that problem of treating chronic disease. It's not just one thing that's causing this. So, um, disease is preventable. So rather than um, you know, giving you a pill for the ill, we try to figure out what's the root cause. Do you need dietary changes? Do you need to move more? You know, exercise, I always say, a body in motion stays in motion. A body at rest stays at rest. You see people getting up, and they're so stiff when they get up. There's inflammation in their joints. So how can we do that? We can do that by adding good fats. And I've had many people tell me that just by adding omega-3s, their joints quit hurting. So the main thing that, you know, that we know now is sugar is the enemy. Sugar causes inflammation. And the inflammatory response in our body can cause joint pain, memory fog, affects your thyroid. You can have GI disorders from it too. So, um, but all fat is not your enemy. And that's definitely something to remember. Good fat is a friend, not a foe. And I talked previously about what are good fats, extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, eating actually farm, not farm raised butter, you know, beef with butter, but actually just good, you know, butter from um, a cow that was grass fed because there's more nutrients, vitamins, et cetera, in there. So if you lose weight, you heal inflammation, the body is amazing. God made us you know, our body's amazing. I always just, every day I think about how we can just do the right thing and our bodies will heal. Thanks for watching. If this information was helpful, hit that thumbs up button down below. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button down below, then ring the bell next to it. Also, if you know other people that you would want to share this link with, please do so because I would love to help them on their journey to good health.